Hey everyone, Skillsy Shooter here. Welcome to episode 10 of Quad Feed. Yes, that's right, we made it to double digits finally, and Ron didn't end up killing anybody. To celebrate, we're going to talk a bit about the Xbox One launch and Chris and I's experiences with it, and Ron takes a shit on camera. Not literally, but you can tell when he goes and does it. So, all that and more on Quad Feed. Hello and welcome to the Quad Feed podcast. My name is Skillsy Shooter and I'll be your host for the tonight. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to our 10th pod feed. Uh, <laughs> tenth You're podcast. Ruined it. <laughs> and we'll, uh, yeah, it's gone. <laughs> well, that's going to be our intro. <laughs> wow. There we go. <laughs> wow. That's for the. That, we can use that for the, the start of our clip show. That's there it. we go. Awesome. We clip That'll show. be in Christmas the uh, 50th special. anniversary show. <laughs> yes. Hello, everyone. Skillsy Shooter here. I am the real. I will stand up, but I'm not Eminem. Um, yes. Skillsy Shooter here. Welcome 10th episode of the Quad Feed podcast. Double digits, which officially makes us what? The 349th longest running gaming podcast. Most podcasts don't even get it to seven. So uh, double digits for us. Um, we thought we'd spruce things up a bit and get a bit tarted up, Suit with the exception bit. of uh, of Ron, who uh, is there, somehow <laughs> translates 10 into birthday suit. Um, hey, it works, right? Shit is sexy. Sexy. And Chris uh, decided to go semi-formal and uh, do a very Matt Preston cravat kind of setup. So uh, call it what you will. We made an effort and we thank you for it. So, 10th show, free steak knives. Ben would like to give a personal shout out to Beth. Hello, Beth. Hello, Ben. Hello, Beth. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Good, mate. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the genesis of uh, of Beth wanting to, to be on the show? She said there was a distinct lack of um, her voice or boobs or both? Lack of her voice. Right. Uh, maybe both, I'm not sure. But mainly her. She said her voice, so... I figured I'd say hello. Hello. <laughs> Let it not be said that uh, we don't look after our viewers, even though she's not a viewer. She only found out about this about two weeks ago, didn't she? Yeah. Bloody hell. No, as in like a few days ago. A few days she ago. She called me Good. up because, what's this? I heard about you doing a podcast. So, yeah. I, I did True story. My, well told. I did know that, notice the uh, the views across the board of all all nine previous podcasts had gone up by one view. So maybe that's her going through the back catalogue and <laughs> seeing the body of work that we're responsible for. Wow, she had like nothing better to do. The 10% increase. Yeah, that's it, man. But watch like two, like two hour long shows, like every, all fucking nine of them. Right. Yeah. Dedication, well, man. Friends. That's what friends do. That's what friends are for. What is yeah. this friends you speak of? Yeah. Anyway. The people that pay for drinks. He said not wearing a shirt. Yeah, oh, damn. <laughs> I'm sure she's enjoying this. Gotcha. Unless yeah, you're you referring are. to the, uh, the with benefits So how much did version? she uh, pay you for this shout out? Are we going to be in trouble like John Laws? Cash or comment? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> and Chris, the He-Man's woman, woman Haters Club. I'm... You perplex me with your, I mean, it's part of the show where I get to get you to explain the taglines and stuff, but that's got me perplexed. Is that some sort of no hose? Oh, well, it was just mentioned before that we haven't had any uh, females on the show, so I was just letting everybody know how come there wasn't any females, because we are yeah. kind of like the little rascals. <laughs> yeah, little rascals. We're an equal, equal opportunity podcast show. That's it. I want to get some females yeah. on here. I want to lend a bit of perspective. Hey, am I the only one here who kind of likes it as a sausage fest? Well, Said the guy without a shirt. shirt. Again, <laughs> yeah. No shirt. A, lot of what you, a lot of what you will say tonight, uh, Ron, will have zero credibility to it, just purely based on the fact yeah. that I can clearly see some chest hair. I have yeah. to say, if you start Sexy. oiling yourself up while talking, I might have to exit. Mm. <laughs> You'll be furiously masturbating. To come over. Off, just off the screen. <laughs> yeah. Like half to an hour later, you're going to see him walk in the background. <laughs> hey, guys, you finished yet? 
<laughs> you hear him fire up a Honda, and then... I'm going to go get some oil. People. I'm going to get some oil. God damn it. <laughs> well, if this video gets 20 likes, I will personally ensure that uh, Ron oils himself for next week's show. What uh, the fuck? Smash that Nobody like Nobody like yeah. it. Smash that like Nobody. Button. I second smash that. It. I second yeah. that. Yep. Nobody yep. like it. We'll Have we not got that. 20 likes for a show? In yeah, fact, just, just 20 if, likes. If, be nice. Be the first if this podcast. Gets, <laughs> what? If this gets 20 dislikes, I will personally, in the next show, drive to each of their houses, Chris, Ben, and Gav's places, and punch them on screen. Like, boom, they'll just get one, and then I'll just come back home after I've done it all three of them. <laughs> 20 dislikes. Jay and Silent Bob Styles. Yeah. Mm, interesting. Your camera's having trouble focusing because, you know, I don't know whether or not your nipple's coming into focus kind so of thing. It's much white on the screen. Yeah. I it's like the white balance is off or, you know, the, <laughs> the contrast between the areola and your face or something. I don't know. It's... I have nice nipples. They're not, like, overly tiny, you know, <laughs> and, they're, and they're not pepperoni nipples, you know, the, uh, areolas, you know. Pancake, they're... pancake nipples. Yeah, they're, they're nice. They're, like, really... God. Really normal. They're adequate. Okay. Show them the third one. Yeah, but that's on like the no, back of the back side, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. It's weird. But that's the one he can lick. <laughs> uh, I, can, I can actually milk for that one. Oh, this is going to be... A, this 10th episode is fantastic. It's already classy. All already classy. From the very beginning. So it's been an a interesting week. The uh, Xbox One uh, dropped two days ago, and uh, yours truly is still recovering from the nerve damage in his right pinky finger because the box was so heavy from walking it back that uh, I'm, I'm actually dead set serious. It's in my finger. It's the plastic bag carrying it back all the way from Broadway, <laughs> even to the bus stop, and then from the bus stop to my place of work. It's still getting sensation back. Aside wow. from that, well, why did you only carry it with one finger? No, no, just the, <laughs> just the way the book. I wanted to show my strength off, I'll be honest. Yeah. I really was just like, just trying to go, A, look at me, I've got an Xbox One, and B, check it out and carry it with one finger. Get on my level. So how many people at your place of business also had an Xbox One, or were they all jealous? Uh, I think it's between zero and one. No, it's zero. It's <laughs> definitely zero. Yeah. The new girl offered uh, offered me fifty dollars for it. I think she was joking. At least I hope she was joking. I would have just. She thought it was her secret Santa gift. I'm like, you couldn't be more wrong. <laughs> oh, that's definitely the wrong day to bring an Xbox oh, in. Hell yeah! <laughs> secret Santa day. Yeah. Um, what did you get for your secret Santa thing? Well, we haven't done it yet. Oh. He's oh, going to get a it's, PlayStation. It's completely something. tokenistic. It's like twenty bucks. It'd probably be like a popcorn maker or. Um, <laughs> some sort of weird... something that you'll never ever use. That's it. I mean, I I did do a, a popcorn holder. I mean, we're completely straying from the topic, but um, yeah, popcorn. I know, I know the best Secret Santa gift. You should you should get like uh, uh jumper cables and wrap them up. So is and this back to nipple talk? Like is that? No, no. Yeah. Oh, right. oh wait, no. I, I see. You're just drawing it. Yeah. Uh, no, no, it wasn't actually. It's just they are the best gift to give for Secret Santa. Uh, gifts because nobody ever buys them for themselves. Yeah, and well, also it's really fucking stupid. They'll unwrap it and be like jumper cables, mm. and you'll be like, hey, "Merry fucking Christmas!" You know me so well. well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be <laughs> that guy. A gun rack. I don't even I know. I am that guy. guy. I, I am that guy. That. No. So back to the Xbox. Fifty uh, percent of the podcast actually owner. Xbox One now. Chris went to the dark side a couple of days ago. I've seen him pop up on uh, on my dashboard saying all manner of things that he's playing at the moment. On the whole, Chris, yep. what's your experience, mate? You, you suitably impressed? Uh, not bad. It's different from the PC, I have to say. Uh, I'm finding it hard adjusting to the controls. Even with the tutorials and stuff, um, I'm not sure what the game is, the Gladiator game. Rise. I was playing Rise. Rise. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's 
complicated. <laughs> really? The, um, uh, you know, doing all the combos and stuff, it'll draw an outline around the person with the color of the button, uh, which I'm sure everyone who's used an Xbox for many years would instantly know which button is the yellow button or the blue button. But uh, for Why me, I have, have to look right? at the control. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Thanks for that helpful so bit of feedback there. That's right. Oh, you know it. I'm here to help. I'm here to help. Chris, I'm going to talk you through it. Gonna you're going to be well. You're, yeah. you're going to be good by the end of the week. <laughs> awesome. Well, there's so, good, yeah, there's good news there, Chris. There's the two other buttons you need to learn about, and that would be the... Uh... Yeah, green one's popped up every now and then. Yeah. Uh, that would be A right there. A. And that concludes our intensive <laughs> two-week training course. God. Are you writing that down, by the way? What? Yes. <laughs> just for a second, you looked down. I thought you I were was looking at the controller just to make sure. Yeah. You're not being trolled. Well, I wasn't you? lying, was I? No, you so weren't. Rise, I mean, the uh, I think the general consensus was, and the people were scared about, was the fact that it would was just one big quick time event, and you were just basically the monkey. Yeah, not yourself being a monkey. The operator behind the controllers just going, okay, X. B, Y, you know, and, and it turning into something that you don't really have a whole lot of control over. Does that tend to ring true? Like, is there a lot of free flowing combat, or is it a bit more quick time? Yeah, it, it's um, you can do, you know, your own combat if you want. It just helps because you'll get attacked by multiple people. So if you link the combos mm -hmm. with the uh, the X, Y, and A. The thing is you have to get the people down to a very low life. So the trick is if you've got six people attacking you, you've got to get each one down to low life, then enter into the combo mode. Yep. And then you can attack all six people in like a, a one big blow thing where you just tap the colors on each person and it'll go through the thing. Like kind of like a chain motion a matrix kind of... mode. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, they didn't do... I mean, some of the review... Uh, the reviews that we've seen come out in, in the last few days didn't really do a whole, a very good job of showing that off. It was more one-on-one -on -one kind of scenario where he's relieving a person of his lower limbs and, and sort of walking along. Well, da -da, yeah, that's da -da, what I was you don't doing that at arm. the start. <laughs> yeah. At the start, I was just picking people off one at a time. And then once I started getting the hang of it, I realized if I get everyone low life, I can take out everybody in this one big... Uh, motion. Hmm. And what what other games you get? Dead Rising. I mean, it, it seems to me that you know the setting is just different with uh, with Dead Rising Three. You've just, just exchanged well, gladiators for uh, zombies. <laughs> it is pretty much similar, and that's where I think I started getting the hang of it when I switched over. But um, you know, it's a zombie game. It's you're always going to be walking around in the dark, and it's. I mean, you're not really going to have much choice as to what it's going to be. Uh, it, you're either going to be, you know, shooting them COD style, or it's just going to be walking into a room and getting attacked. Which, I mean, that's the same as the Gladiator game, but that's all you can do. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. So, Benny. Yeah. When are you getting yours? When are you making the switch, taking the leap, Xbox. the leap of faith that is the Xbox One? <laughs> so we can replace that tired PS3 I, I, behind you. Can't believe you're jumping ship. Yes. Don't try. What? I'm not fucking jumping <laughs> ship. God. Um, you're the PlayStation well, I'm gonna look guy. At some gameplay footage because I, yeah, I know. But I'll see. Okay. I had a look at some footage of. Uh, you, you started Forza and restarted 5. that sentence fifty times. You do know that, right? It's because you interrupted it 50? Him. That's a lot. <laughs> um, yeah. Forza 5. I had a look at some gameplay footage of that. Yeah. Mm. Um, it looked really average. Average? As yeah. in, like, graphics-wise. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll have to check, we'll check it again. No, I know. I've, coming from PCs, the, uh, the graphics are a bit of a uh, letdown to me from thing. But, I mean, yeah. I wasn't expecting it to be ultra settings there are some parts where the graphics do look a bit below average but it, it's not for too long yeah. 
Mm. And I mean, I'm watching it on YouTube, so obviously not on like a good screen. So I'll have to come play one of your guys' ones to suss it out. But oh, Forza yeah. 5, I mean, or Forza or whatever, I don't even know how to fucking pronounce it. Um, Clarkson says Forza. So you buy the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so you buy the game, mm-hmm. assuming it doesn't come with yours. And then there's apparently like a shitload of microtransactions as well to buy all these cars in the game, which costs yep. like forty pounds and all this sort of stuff. Fuck. That's ridiculous. I yeah, dealt... that's the way the game's going now. They want microtransactions. Yeah, like I mean, Gran Turismo did that. It cost five dollars, and you got like ten cars. Mm. This is what you got to buy tokens. Um, you know, so I think you buy like a twenty thousand pack of tokens, which costs sixty five pounds. Damn, that's ridiculous. Can you earn the tokens? So though? that's what I was wondering. I have no idea. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, okay. Because I remember people were trading the Microsoft credits. Is that what the tokens are? No, they're different to Microsoft credits. Oh, okay. Well, the credit system now yeah. for Microsoft, I mean, it's it's back to actual currency now. There's no real such thing as Microsoft points. In terms of, well, sorry, when I when I say that, I mean the the actual conversion from credits to dollars kind of thing. It's a it's a one for one, which is what it should have always been. Rather than buying eight hundred credits for mm. sixty five ninety five or whatever it worked out to be. Um, yeah, I, I haven't dealt. What, what a, it's just, yeah. Sorry, I was gonna say, uh, what, what are itchy and scratchy dollars? They're like regular dollars. They're just more fun. <laughs> fun. Okay, I'll take uh, eleven hundred dollars worth. <laughs> and yeah. anybody um, else who remembers that joke, you get a prize. Yeah. Yes, we will. Tweet us. <laughs> Tweet us. But it's just Hashtag. frustrating when you buy like, a, yeah, when you buy a game, um, like a launch game. Mm. And it's you've got to pay extra fee and stuff. You know, there's no public lobbies, there's no clubs, there's no gifting of cars, there's no free play, there's no like auction house or anything like that. So oh, I think there is a free. It play, just mate. sounds like I'm. I'm reading. Apparently, there's not. Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> from Again, the main, from don't the main know anything. I don't know. You so guys own it, so you guys will know. Yeah. From the main menu, it's like garage, my uh, free play. Um, and a couple of other options. Um, I mean, I, I haven't delved so deep into it just yet. I think I've just got to the point where um, those initial few races, which the system, the game uses to uh, sort of configure your driver tar and sort of you know get to, get to grips with that, and then sends that out into the into the e world, so to speak. Um, mm. Yeah, I haven't really delved so much into it, but I've been trying to spread my time amongst. Uh, for other games, um, yeah. yeah, I mean that would be disappointing if 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 it does find itself consumed by microtransactions, because um, one of the biggest complaints that they've sort of found, or um, some of the reviewers have said so far, is that there's a lot fewer cars um, in the game by default. And I suppose hearing <laughs> yeah. about those microtransactions might possibly mean that there is a there is an inventory of cars that's just waiting for you to for you to access. Um, but you got to pay for them. Which, I mean, as um, long as you can complete the game without having to buy it, I'll be happy. Um, yeah, it's no, it's not pay to win, but no. still. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I mean, and also to address the question that I was originally asked, when I'm getting one, it, to be honest, there's no, <laughs> there's no benefit for me to buy an Xbox One now because there's no none of the insane exclusives that have been released that I really want to play, like Titanfall. That doesn't come out to what next year. Much. I'll yep. buy one then when it's probably a bit cheaper, mm. and get yeah, there's, there's no point to get one now. And there's, yeah, and there's they're not sold out in Australia like the PlayStation 4, which have all been pre-ordered and they're not going to get released the next shipments till 2014. So, yeah, there's no point getting one now because there's mm. nothing really that I want to play on it at the moment. Like later on, obviously there will be, but Titanfall that's coming on PC as well. So, yeah, yeah, no real point at the moment. Well, right now, like I don't have one, but um, my brother got one, and we unboxed it and plugged it in and everything. And uh, yesterday, uh, and uh, it's a uh, it's God you know you guys will survive. Um, 
the the thing that you were saying about graphics with uh, Forza, um, yep. since I'm, it's, it's very clearly known that I, I fucking hate driving games or sport games because I think they're fucking useless. Um, Apart from one, just, there's isn't no, it? Isn't there one that doesn't sort of fit that um, hatred that you feel with your heart with? Isn't it some, some sort of Mario game? I think we've mentioned it maybe before. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Mario No, but that's the thing. Like, that it's completely... It's not realistic. It's not a driving sim or anything like that. It's fucking, hey, we're going to throw shells at each other and well, uh, we I can lock each other out and that kind of stuff. Like, Carmageddon... Like as well, I like, like that one because you just run people over. It's like death race, uh, but I mean like simulation games like Forza, fucking uh, Gran Turismo, or all that. Like when I like uh, we installed it and um, played that. That was the first game I ever played on Xbox One, and I was just like, <coughs> okay, it's a driving game. That's it. Every single fucking driving game. I'm just like, it's that's it. So when when you mentioned the graphics, I'm like, do they even matter? When it's a driving game or something like that, like they they, they the all driving look the game, same definitely. to me. Definitely, like well, they yeah. all just look the same yeah. to me. It's okay, the car, then 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 the track, and that's it. Like there's nothing yeah. that's gonna make me. No, I'm never gonna see a driving game that's gonna make me go, oh wow, that looks fucking amazing. I'm always gonna say it's it looks like a driving game. That mm. car looks like a car. It's shaped like a car. Oh hey, look the track. It's I don't know. I don't well, care how. Past. They were very high detailed games. They were like the flagships to show off the graphics power. So See, that's, that's where that's, that came from. Yeah, that's just like disappointing. It's like, oh hey, we're gonna show off how fucking awesome our new system is with a driving game. Like <laughs> a driving game. <laughs> I honestly game. do not know what the fuck you guys are on about. I really don't. Genuinely, what? it's such a good-looking game. I mean, you have to play it. Like YouTube doesn't do it. Oh uh, yeah, I know. Any, yeah. any favors yeah, exactly. at all? No. There's a frame rate it, cap. There's. Uh, it's just I, 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 I'm only awful. hating on. I'm only hating on driving games. That's it. That's it. Like. <laughs> I I I think that's it not, that's not a very good argument to make. Yeah, yeah. I think that I think what your main reason for that. Your main reason for that is probably because you haven't experienced. You know, there, there are elements to a driving experience that can be can be included or might have been included in this Xbox One version with something as simple as, you know, the rumbles in the in the um in the triggers and stuff. I mean, that on paper sounds like a really, really small addition to make, but the amount of feedback that you get through, you know, the the braking sh uh, the braking paddle and the and your you know, the acceleration paddle, you know, it might be the most you know, minuscule adjustment that you need to make to uh to the braking and the cornering and in, in just that driving line kind of thing, but it's just you know, these incremental little things that add to it that you know ma makes it that much more immersive. Hey, I, I suppose I if you're coming from a, from the pedigree of Mario Kart, then I'm not sure there's much hope for you. But yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's 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 literally like um, a uh, the the little differences, anything that they can do to make it like much more like better than any other driving game. Even if I do notice them, I am going to sit there and say it is still a driving game. That is it. That is the argument. That like It's just what I'm like. I don't enjoy them. Um, and I was playing it, and I noticed the, uh, the like, because um, when I would normally play, you know, I would just gun it. You know, I'd smack down the accelerator. I'd smack down the brake. But, like, um, with this, I know you've got to be more careful. You've got to treat it like an actual car. You know, you can't just slam them down. Hmm. And um, uh, I noticed those kind of things. And I was like, that's cool. It's still a driving game. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm already sick of this. Like, it's just the way I'm built. And yes, uh, Mario Kart is, it's stupid. It's fun. It's cartoonish. And I like that. Um, driving sims, just ne never going to do it for me. Never. <laughs> if a game comes out that's like, that blows everybody's minds, just goes like, this is the quintessential driving game. You play this once, you will fall in love with driving games. It's just never going to happen. Nothing can convince me. It's that boring to me. Not even if there was a McLaren P1 with tortoise shells coming out the back of it. If, if um, yeah, if it was like really good and or... cartoony like that, but with real cars, hey, I'd give it a try, but I wouldn't fall in love it with it. It is a bit cartoony. I just did a race uh, today where 
I had to knock over bowling pins while I tracked around the track. And I had to get a certain number. Oh, was that one yeah, of the Top I saw... Gear ones? Yeah. Yes, it was the Top Gear one. Yeah. The, the Top Gear track where you got to avoid all the obstacles. That was pretty fun. Yeah. 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 So it's got a few things like that yeah. in it. That, that, that surprised me. Yeah. But like, I would play it maybe three, four times and be like, ah, oh, that, that, that was interesting. That was interesting. And then never play it again. And then back to Mario Kart. Yeah, well, there you go, Turn 10. If you uh, need any sort of uh, DLC requirements that, and you would like one more sale, uh, please ensure that you fire mushrooms from the front, shells from the back, and you can collect <laughs> some degree of coins and or little bombs to, uh, to suit Ron's play style. That's right. That's right. If they, they, uh, <laughs> they want to appeal to me, that's what they've got to do. Think... It's all about me. I think what we're forgetting about the fact is that, you know, comparing, I read an article on Polygon today and it was kind of saying, um, aside from reviewing both consoles, it was more an investment in, you're buying potential energy, is, is how they put it. You're buying, you know, access to to stuff that whilst, you know, at the moment, obviously there are the launch titles and some pretty awesome ones coming up in the next six months or whatever, but generation one xbox 360 versus you know the last of the titles on the 360 are completely poles apart and it just comes down to studios learning how to better develop for the resources that they've, they've now got it's one neat. thing that i'm i'm kind of looking forward to is uh you, you know how uh, when the xbox 360 came out and oblivion uh, was one of the games uh, that was there right from the start, right? Was it a launch title? But, um, I'm not sure. I really wasn't into those kind of games. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> but when, um, I, when hate came them. Out... I hate them with the same hatred that you hate <laughs> racing games. <laughs> yeah. Oblivion, I games. Morrowind, I mean, you can know what you suck feel like, that man. one. I know what you feel like. If you're a goblin... And Until elf... you can mod it so you can drive a car around. Yeah. <laughs> Which you can, which you, you can do can. in the Skyrim version on PC. It's like a, a, co yeah. a cobra, and you're driving up and down the mountains in it. Soul. Yeah, like this Where do I sign? Is that an Origins exclusive? Yeah. Or... <laughs> Steam. Take me to Steam. <laughs> I shall buy it for yeah, quick. Um... Carry on. <laughs> when um, uh, Oblivion came out, and then um, for the 360, and then uh, ages later, Skyrim was released, and seeing how much better it looked and it played and everything and they improved on it so so much and um, I can't wait for uh, like now since the Xbox One just came out and it like you know if anybody's got a problem with like the graphics and that kind of stuff like uh, right now we're only seeing the beginning yeah. and after it's been out for a year or maybe more I don't know hopefully more than that we're going to see games that just look fucking amazing and like it's just a massive jump uh, just like Oblivion and Skyrim when you look at those two side by side like in a screenshot you're like you can't believe that it's like it was it's released on like concept. the same yeah yeah that's fucking insane mm -hmm. uh, and so that's what I'm waiting yeah, for, yeah, that's for, a, for, for a real good point the Xbox One. I, yeah I, I don't think anyone's wrong. saying it's bad I was just saying that coming from a computer background yeah the graphics aren't what I was expecting Fair enough. PC elitist. God. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's one of Ben's main concerns, that it's not going to be Ultra HD 120 frames a second or something. <laughs> no, not up to my lofty standards. Lofty. <laughs> yeah. How did you find uh, some of the install times? Because, I mean, I probably, I mean, I felt like I was on the internet at the same time as everyone in Australia. So my install times were a little bit slow. My my uh, update for various different patches was a little bit slow. The system update was quite fast actually, but um, just the actual games themselves, like I think Forza had a six gig uh, update or sort of companion file that needed to be done with it. Um, FIFA, yeah, I think um, Forza and Battlefield were the biggest ones, but I think Battlefield only took about less than an hour, and the others were quicker than that. So. Mm. It wasn't too bad. I saw Champ Chong was installing the, uh, the same game that I bought, NBA 2K14, and his uh, his tweets told a story of 
how it hadn't moved off zero percent installing for about an hour. So I don't even I don't know. Oh, where. I did. I, I did hear that. that. <laughs> but is that because of that problem they were talking about? That there's a, a problem with some of them with the CD drive. It doesn't yeah, read it. That's Apparently, right. yeah. yeah, a lot of the problem like with the disk drive. Like you put the disk in it, it makes this awful noise. Well, there's the sound, and then, I mean, it was going to be a topic anyway, but NBA 2K14, I haven't played a full game yet, because it's crashed three times. Holy oh, wow. shit. So, well, actually, when okay. I was in the, uh, the shop purchasing it, out of all the games that were there, NBA and the other sports games all sold out. Everything else was available. It was only the sports games that had sold out. Oh, God. How do people like sports games? <laughs> so you might be right that you know there's just that many people trying to download it at the moment. Oh, I mean, the install time, it's fully installed. I'm on about actual gameplay whilst I'm playing. I haven't been able to get two minutes into the first quarter, and I've recorded the footage, thankfully, so if, if they need you know, sort of documented proof, it just goes straight to the home screen, and then you click back into the game, and it starts all over again. And I've got it. I did it three times in a row, uh, and I'm thinking I had that the... actually. What, it what? happened for me for Battlefield once. It took me oh, back to the home screen. And I had to redo the what, what I was doing. So that is not sure if that's because I was installed. playing it yeah. when it said ready to launch. Yeah. And then it finished or something. Ben, I am so surprised you haven't just jumped on this. Like, ha! <laughs> that's what you get, Ron, for like uh, fucking with all the playstations. <laughs> I'm impartial, Ronald. No, I'm, I'm, I'm even-handed. We haven't... Hang on, just no, to bring it back uh, on... I, we haven't seen the enormity of uh, Blue Lines of Death or anything like that in the Xbox just yet. I mean, be careful, I will lash out. I will lash out. <laughs> <laughs> that has I've been, been quite... I've been serious. known to scratch. <laughs> Don't bring up the blue, blue Line of viewers. Death. <clears throat> uh, mm. Maybe it was just... I mean, I, I might have to sort of reinstall and, uh, and oh, go from there nice. just to see. But it's only relative to to that particular game, which makes me think it's the game and not. I mean, it's definitely not the drive. I've I've left the. Uh, I've been doing some pretty heavy hours today, just in any uh, and all the other games, and they they've been fine. So um, I think it's just to do with the game, and maybe there's a patch that increases its stability. The, the, the code. Yeah, what? That's the thing. Yeah, I mean, hopefully they release something soon, unlike Battlefield 4 for PC, which they still have not fixed. Which you play three games or whatever, or a few games, mm. and you're bound to crash mid-game, as in crash to the desktop, which oh, I think fuck. is just insane that that has not been fixed yet because it is a seriously awesome game, and people can still not play it, mm. which is just unheard of. Like, how can they not find that issue while testing or making it or whatever, release it, and still not fix it? So that is really frustrating. So I have not been playing it at all. <laughs> I've only been playing the campaign. <laughs> Crashing mid-game. The, oh. uh, the DICE uh, the CEO came out and said that um, he wasn't particularly impressed with... Um, I'm, I'm hoping I can find it whilst you guys are talking. Um, yeah, basically was saying how he, was, he wasn't happy with the, the whole stability issues and there were some things that you know he wasn't terribly impressed about. Um, which they are looking to, to get fixed. Um, the other thing was, uh, yeah, after a three or four year hiatus, um, EA came back with NBA Live 14, and that has got absolutely panned. Like, it's vicious. Mm -hmm. Some of the stuff. Well, wouldn't I've, it be similar? No, you couldn't, you couldn't draw um, yeah, a bit a, a bigger contrast to what a basketball game should be, and what it used to be. I mean, the NBA Live, the NBA Live series used to be you know, the best going. Um, it it would it would have taken a brave guy to sort of buy the two K equivalent, probably back six six seven years ago. Um, and then one year it just switched. It was like probably two K two K nine, I think it was two K eight two two K nine, and. I will never go back to EA. If if they think that three years out of the game and coming back with a game which has averaged 4.15 out of 10 in some of the reviews that I've seen. That's crazy. For a brand new game. Coming, for a brand new game. Even to the point where the NBA Live producer uh, 
addresses disappointed fans and says there are updates coming. A game that's been out for two days. Unbelievable. <laughs> Polygon gave it four, uh, four point three, I think, um, and I think Gamespot gave it uh, four. Wow, it's been pretty brutal. The mechanics are off. The animations, like. <laughs> It looks like just a, a huge deal just to even score a basket. Every every caption I've seen and every video I've seen, the shortest players are just jumping out of the stands just blocking the shit like volleyball style. It's It just looks <laughs> awful. The mechanics, the... Blubber. And, well, they, they tried to pull the wool over our eyes, our eyes so to speak. Eyes. Eyes. Whatever. Take your pick. Um, in just like some <laughs> of the trailer footage. And it actually looked pretty comparable. 2K versus... Uh, live 14 at uh, 2k14 and, and live 14 but when you look at the gameplay i think it's you know that they tried to do an aliens colonial marines job on this <laughs> and just suppress any sort of that, gameplay because it looks terrible it looks do terrible. you think they uh, did a, a dodgy because i have heard that one of the games has been changed since it was reviewed to what you can actually buy which one's that um, I think it was that Crimson Dragon game. Apparently, the version that people reviewed is not what people get when they buy it. It's like a different. Huh? I'm not sure if that's because <laughs> they made it better or worse. Right, okay. Um, yeah, so there's NBA 2K Live. We spoke about four, fours. Uh, you played FIFA yet? I mean, it's a sport game, so Ron probably hasn't. Nope. <laughs> no, I, all the sports games were sold out, so I, I wasn't able to purchase any. Oh, what a shame the sports games were sold out. Oh, now you have to play something like... You, now you have to play actual games. Well, they, that implies that the sports games are popular, Ron, so you're in the minority there. Yeah. Oh, no, but I'm correct. Oh, right, okay. Minority's Just always the loudest. Ron purchasing the skate shooting. Spoken right. like a true legend, Ben. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I trust a man of... in the suit. I trust that man. He's he's wearing a suit. Exactly. He's yeah. Exceptionally trustworthy. Ron I doesn't have any clothes. Two he's there for episodes ago. Two episodes ago, I wore a suit. I was the only one wearing a suit. Yeah, but that was because of that court case you were yeah, in. That's... That doesn't count. Yeah. I said not to bring that up. I apologize. I will censor myself this week. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Chris, have you found the uh, the connect functionality with your booming bassy voice? I, I imagine it responds quite well to you. Um, I was just about to say that I've been playing the Battlefield, and I do like that you can speak, and your team players in the campaign will do actions. But I'm having to repeat myself a few times before it actually does yeah. it. You've got to come across so, more forceful, man. You can't just say, hey, guys, yeah. would you mind sort of advancing on that beachhead, please? <laughs> yeah. I never fucking listen to the commander. <laughs> <laughs> Take fucking B. Go B. I'm like, what? Well, no, I'm getting in this jet Whatever, ski. Man. I'm going off this yeah. way. <laughs> I'm going to jump on a jet ski and see if I can take down this helicopter. Well, I'm never listening to you. We're no, losing anyway. Bad. We're, like, getting hammered. <laughs> This isn't the multiplayer, this is the campaign. campaign. The AIs. We're losing oh. B! We're losing B! Fuck that. See you later. God. I'm going to go get a taco. I'm going to go get a taco well, with my I'm... dog here. <laughs> Have you used any of the um, the barcode scanner? On I the did. I, I used it. It worked flawlessly uh, for, for that was, FIFA. Yeah. That's, That's a brilliant really cool, piece of equipment, actually. I didn't Instead have... of typing codes in, you just put it up on the screen. Yeah. Instant. That that was amazing, seeing that. That was what I did for FIFA. Yeah. Um, I like that. That's good. Yeah, I don't think they did a good enough job of selling that as a feature. Because, um, I mean, that's got all manner of different applications for it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've had to type in a few codes since. I mean, that's the only time I've used it for, the, for FIFA, but... Um, inside called inside of ghosts, and I was like, I was expecting to see another QR code for uh, DLC maps and and skins and soundtracks and all that sort of stuff, but they didn't. They just stuck with the whole tried and true code system. Oh, Which was a little bit disappointed. Yeah. yeah, you did you buy ghosts? Um, I didn't. I 
still on the fence about it. I'm waiting to hear. People have been canning it for quite a few weeks, so I'm waiting to hear if it was just let me, high expectations. Or let me allay if, your fears. I'll, I, I'm hoping to do a comparison video, but I figured with all the other comparison videos that are out there at the moment, you know, it pretty much would be just my opinion. And it, it would largely follow what um, other people have said. The combination of the new controller and um, I, I suppose maybe it's just the, the, the way that it behaves. It's a lot smoother on the Xbox One. Graphically, it's 10 times better. So the graphical aficionados, you know, don't have to worry about that. It's 10 times better. Um, textures are improved. And just the player movement. And I think just the way that it, it blends well with the, um, with the controller, I don't think I'll need to get any sort of control freaks or anything like that. My accuracy has just gone through the roof. The very first game that I played on Ghost on Xbox One, um, I think I went like, 17 and 17 and 6 which might not sound great but when you when you take into account you know, you're fresh off a new controller you haven't really figured out your your sweet spot or your sensitivity settings or anything like that you know it it was just really good to see and um and that's kind of been echoed by a few other people as well in that you know ghosts really didn't have that sort of pull you in factor you know i, I can't wait to get home or i can't wait to have a few game of, games of ghosts and yet the xbox one seemingly for me i mean if i wasn't doing this i'd probably be playing it right now whereas i didn't have that pull towards it on on the 360 so um oh okay i think you can allay your fears and then hopefully ron will follow suit and we can all have a game together yeah uh i bought ghosts for my brother so uh i'll be jumping on but not on my like as my gamer tag I think like I'm I'm basically gonna do uh what Benny's doing. I'm gonna hang out for a bit until uh the the like better bigger games are out and that's when I'll probably get my one. Uh, I'm not I'm in like no rush right now. I'm still in the middle of playing GTA five, so um uh you know, I I'm I'm not in any rush to get the one yet, even though it is it is pretty cool. But mm. I and, and then I will jump on and we can play, we can all hold hands. <laughs> you can teach me what the buttons are. I'm just looking yeah. forward to the voice commands and like, and then Chris sort of coming over the headphones going, we're losing B, we're losing B, and we just go, nah, fuck it, let's go to A. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck <laughs> you, see you later. Smoke you. Smoke you. So we've covered the control, the control feels good, we've covered upload times, uh, or install times. Well, there was times, one thing I was going to ask you guys about um, I was not expecting the audio for the Xbox One. It's all um, HDMI inputs and outputs. Mm -hmm. How did you connect your sound up to the Xbox? Because that caused me a bit of a problem. When we I spoke it. about this before, and if anyone's listening to this, can give me a, um, <coughs> I suppose, a, a workaround for it. Um, why is your camera so fuzzy, Ron? Jesus. I don't know, man. It's like you're smearing I'm, I'm it with even Vaseline. Put it's Vaseline on it. Automatically <laughs> adjusting and... I, I, I'm not even moving much, you know? I know you're going I... for the whole soft focus kind of thing to... <laughs> to push, <laughs> sex up the viewers and stuff, but yeah. Oh, you know photos. it. Yeah, you know it. You know it. Ron's <laughs> hour of power. The... Um, <laughs> so, my configuration is... Um, Obviously, the HDMI is to the back of the, uh, the back of the TV, back of the Xbox. But for the sound, um, I have to put my monitor cable, my uh, speaker cables into the back of my tower, which worked previously yeah. for the Xbox 360. What I also have is a um, a digital, uh, sorry, an optical audio, which I thought I'd be able to plug it into the back of the console as well. So, like I said, if there's anyone out there that can spot what I'm doing wrong because um, I thought the optical audio would then speak to the PC to say um, pump out the sound while well, I think speakers that's, are connected. Yeah, I think that's one of the problems with the HDMI out. It doesn't, 
carry the sound or something, you've always got to plug it into something else. No, um, that's the benefit of the HDMI. It carries video and sound. Mm. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I've always had trouble using HDMI. I was hoping it had the the uh, digital um, connection, the DivX one. It was all. It, I mean, the it was a pretty bold move in in uh, in both camps to to sort of adopt the whole HDMI format. Um, well, HDMI is like capped. Can only do a max of sixty frames a second. So. Mm. The surprise That's what I used choice. to. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean everything's coming out. I mean my monitor is 120 frames a second, so yeah. to cap the yeah, next gen at 60 frames, it's it's a bit of a handicap, the, I think. But that's the yeah, well that's the most that they can handle. So that's why they use HDMI, yeah. not DVI. So with our 120 hertz monitors, we have to use DVI because HDMI will cap it at 60, but. Seeing as Xbox and PS3 only can only do 60 frames, there's no point using DVI. Yeah. So they just use the um, HDMI. So my solution in my head feels like I need some sort of double 3.5 mil jack that I put into um, into the back of the monitor, and then I feed another male to male 3.5 from one end of that into the back of my tower. I mean, and hopefully that'll be it because. That will be a massively glaring hole. It, yeah. It's the assumption that people, it's the assumption of both companies that it's going to be plugged into a TV um, and not a monitor that doesn't have speakers. Well, that's the other thing is how do you plug your headphones in? Uh, for me, the headphones um, run through my, it's like a, a separate Logitech uh, speaker setup. Oh, so you've, you've got like a, a, um, like a home theater thing where you've got the receiver and the amplifier. No, no, no. It's quite literally um, on on the actual sub itself. It's got an uh, an in in and out. It's got a RCA in and out. Um, and then I've just got an adapter which which plugs that through straight through the headset. But I mean, I'll probably end up getting a new headset for the uh, when they drop. I think next. I think it's next year. The new next book Xbox One uh, headsets come out. Oh, okay. I could be completely wrong, but um, I'm not going to use the piece of shit thing that comes with the Xbox One. I tried using it today, and the audio quality wasn't fantastic. And I, couldn't I hear think it. it's pretty cool that it actually comes with one, though. It is. Yeah. I don't know if the PlayStation what the PlayStation comes with, but I think that's that's pretty cool that they throw one in. The, I know uh, what the PlayStation oh, comes with just for multiplayer. Does it actually do anything in single player mode? Uh, I wouldn't have thought so. No. No, it's just for people talking. Hmm. Yeah, and and that's the best thing about um, what I suppose it's it's the reason that a lot of people cited that the online community was probably a bit better in the in the Xbox days with certain games. I mean, certainly the Call of Duty side of things um, because they did it originally install um, include a, a headset that um, it just encouraged people to be a bit more um, a bit more pack like and sort of merge over to the Xbox. Your mic's muted, Chris. Chris, your mic's muted. I think oh. um, <laughs> Munching away, god damn it. The, um, whereas it sounds like, yeah, the PS4 sort of learnt from that mistake and thought, you know what, yeah, let's make this all about, you know, the whole, that's all about the gamers. It's all about the gamers with the PS4. Um, but even then, their, their headset is like this little weird earbud arrangement and it doesn't really look like it has the quality to it this in itself is you know i'll put myself on the big screen um i mean it's a fairly solid bit of unit i mean the tech that goes into into something like that it's a proprietary uh connection there which is which is another story altogether on whether or not uh you know the likes of Sony and Microsoft. I don't think Sony have invented their own one, but um, Microsoft. Um, Microsoft. They apparently have a, a headphone that plugs into the controller as well. Yeah. No, I'm on about the socket set though. The actual. Oh. That there. It's not I a. Think it's it's just not a USB mini. Through. It's not a mini uh, mic jack like it was on the. On the uh, on the old one. It's not that. So. Uh, 
yeah, I suppose we'll we'll wait and see. I want to get the audio fixed because obviously that's a big limiting factor to uh, having to get under my desk and and pull out cables left, right, and centre because that will be shit. That will be mm -hmm. shit. Well, I'll have to uh, catch up with you and find out what you got because at the moment I got nothing that can plug in, so I have to use speakers at the moment. I can't use my own headset. Uh, besides the one that's plugged in, but that doesn't do the sound. So you can't so plug can't. your headphones into your speakers? Yeah. You so can't or you can't? use can. the speakers. No, I can't. I don't have an extra outlet on my speakers. So, okay. So they're, they're, not, well, like I des mean, they're not desktop speakers, are they? I have to they? plug it into the back of my monitor if I do, but then I have to sit like a meter away from the screen because the cable's not long enough. Oh, well, I mean, that's a cable thing, so you could probably buy an extra, yeah. buy an extension cable. Yeah. I think I just need to buy a double jack, uh, double 3.5, and then a male-to-male -male extender, and then if that doesn't work, then I haven't outlaid a huge amount of money for it, but um, I think that'll work. Um, but yeah, because that's a pretty glaring omission to um, to miss out on, especially for people mm. that are playing on a on like a 27-inch PC monitor. That's what um, I'm doing. Yeah. Unless I've missed something out completely, which, again, if I'm completely wrong, let me know. Comment section below. Let me know. Hmm. Uh, have you felt stupid by saying Xbox on or Xbox snap or Xbox take my pants off kind of thing? Um, I have to say I haven't used that kind of stuff. I... <laughs> Is that because your mum thinks you're really talking to someone and tells you to get a bed or not? <laughs> <laughs> Chris, who's that? Nothing, Mom. Just talking to my Xbox. <laughs> Go to bed. <laughs> yeah. Do you have much use for that kind of stuff, though? I mean, maybe if I had it set up in the lounge room, I might. But at yeah. this stage, where I've got it, you know, I have to take switch around cables and stuff. So it's when it's off, it's off. It's mm -hmm. never in standby mode for me. At the moment, it's I suppose the novelty factor is there, but on the other hand, I was in a menu that I just didn't know how I could get back to the home, like just I'm, unless I'm repeatedly pressing B and going back to the dashboard kind of thing. So I just went Xbox, go home, and it took me straight there. I mean, that's good. Go um, Xbox, go home, you're drunk. Go home, Xbox, you're drunk. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, the snap feature's good, I so that. I can I can still have gameplay and. Uh, and uh, a little sort of snappable app that's in the right-hand toolbar. That's that's a cool feature. Um, but yeah, I haven't delved so far into it that uh, that um, I can kind of fully get to grips with it. But hey, it's cool, and it and it does work. Right. You know, the the other reports that you've seen from a lot of the reviewing places are, are doing it with like people in the room and they're filming, and there's probably a bit of background noise. But you know, when when you're in a setting like this. Yeah, I think I could probably count on three fingers the amount of times I've had to re repeat myself. And I'm not speaking, like, I'm not phonetically rounding my vowels and and speaking the Queen's English when I'm telling the Xbox to turn on. I'm just saying it normally. I'm just typical I wonder if it style. has a drunk feature where if you're slurring your words too much, it won't turn on. Xbox, Tev, fucking turn it on. I want to play Call of Booty. Yeah, I don't know. We'll we'll see. Next time I'm drunk, I'll fire it up. Ron, when did He's Ron gone. go? I have no idea. Well, Triple I H. might have to get a list of uh, Xbox hints and tips from you, seeing as I'm new to the Xbox. I there's a good link actually. It's like the nine it effectively the nine things you should do when you boot up, and a few of them are just like download the. The Blu-ray player, because that's an app in itself. That won't work straight out of the box. You need to download the app. Oh, really? I haven't done that. Skype, YouTube, Twitch, and um, a few other ones as well. Kind of cool. I so heard the that... Blu-ray won't work. Oh. Yeah, it's an app. Oh. I heard that um, if there's a certain order of um, setting up your Xbox... Whereas if you plug something in at the wrong... T oh, that's what it is. Your connect sensor. If you plug that in at the wrong time, it mm -hmm. bricks your sensor. Really? As in, 
you can't use oh, really? it anymore. Yeah. I think it's if you plug it in after the install or something like that or after it's turned on. I don't know what the full story is, so I won't say it, but apparently people are bricking their um, Connect sensors. That's pretty... Because, uh, um, yeah, they're not, they're not plugging in it at the right say. time and it kind of just stuffs up the driver install or something and then you can't revert it, you can't fix it. Damn. Oh, okay. I can't find the article now. You'd think you'd, you'd go through that in some sort of like... Um, uh, you know, what's the word? I oh, know it's it's a different phrasing for the testing. Just the um, uh, God, total blank. Anyway, yeah, the testing that goes that goes through when you when you start to do, um, you know, the software testing for that sort of stuff. You think you'd pick mm. that up? Because what they do is they yeah. do they do a series of cases, and you know, it's every iteration of what happens if um, a customer install a client installs like a. Um, puts like a comma down for their gamer tag, you know, and and then goes through the, the entire list of uh, the install, what happens at the end, and they'll write a series of cases for um, for all that sort of stuff. But I can't believe that wasn't one of them. Like, just yeah. ins installing a cable at the incorrect time. The wrong time, yeah. Um, and our, and that's the other thing as well. They're saying that you have to return the whole system, not just the com the connect module. God. So oh, if it so stuffs maybe up, it's burning out. Yeah, something inside the Xbox. Yeah, it's something, something, something in the registry or whatever that they can't fix. We have to return the whole thing, not just the little connect sensor, mm. which would really suck. Oh my god! The good thing about it is, is Actually, I, I, I left it on um, when I came home last night. I dabbled a little bit around with it, and uh, I was installing. Um, I think it was Ghosts. It might be an NBA. I can't remember. But it sort of put itself into a bit of a sleep mode, and as soon as I walked in the in the in the office door, it sort of sort of sprung to life, and uh, you know, and I can sign in, and it'll automatically detect me, detects me as a person. Apparently, you can have up to six people in the room. Oh, so it'll actually recognise you as guilty shooter. Yep. Wow, that's pretty impressive. It's cool, and it works. Yeah. So you can hide all of your. Uh files on the Xbox that you don't want the girlfriend to see. <laughs> She'll never know. The girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. nah. Unless she can trick it by holding up a photo of you in front <laughs> of the Kinect. You know what? That would probably be an interesting experiment. So I think it does some sort of biometrics as well. So it'd be like, hey there, Gavin. Nice boobs. <laughs> I like what you've done with your hair today, Gavin. It looks noticeably longer. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Who knows? Well, I was kind of preying on Ron for a freaking... Here he is. <laughs> Are you serious? What? You just fucked off. For like 20 minutes. <laughs> I had to do a shit. I wasn't going to poo here. <laughs> oh my god. This is fucking amateur. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's the 10th episode. Yeah, you give me a good reason to come back for the 11th. Awesome. Yeah. If we're uh, uh, starting over again, some way. I'll, uh, I'll do another intro again. <laughs> uh, well, you, I, I was listening to you guys from the toilet. I don't care. You weren't here. <laughs> yeah, but you guys were talking about the, the cables and the sound. Like, it's like part of the fucking sound podcast, in. man. Jesus. Yeah, give I was just like, nah. Repent yeah, for your tardiness. You this week, Ron? Give me a topic. Now, fucking amateur, Jesus. Now let, Here we go. <sighs> Chris. Now let give me. A me... Topic. You want a topic? Yeah. Well, there was one thing I heard about which I think you guys will enjoy. Mm -hmm. um, you know how there's the Google Glasses. Apparently, Sony's getting in on it, but they want to make smart wigs. What? So apparently this sounds like, an April, this sounds like an April Fool's joke. <laughs> they like, filed for a patent to for a computable a uh, wearable, wearable computer device that's a wig, and people are speculating so it's like Google Glasses. Right. So, so how, many, have they said how many anything about have they said anything about how it works or like what no. it does? No, just that there was a patent. That's and, stupid. Yeah. That's all there is to it. That's stupid. 
So you uh, you wouldn't be interested in getting one for yourself? I'm about as interested in getting that as I am interested in playing, uh, playing any kind of driving game. Yeah. <laughs> well, seeing as I'm a Sony fanboy, I'm just going to go shave my head now just, you know, just to make sure <laughs> and get the wig. <laughs> Is it, going to be, is it going to be the PSW? Is that how it's going to work? Works <laughs> <laughs> with the PS Vita and the bus and that sort of shit. God. That'd be freaking yeah, awful. That's fucking stupid. Is it? So, okay. So people seeing this wig, is that dependent on people wearing some sort of, some sort of Google glasses in order to see that you are wearing said wig? Well, yeah, I don't know if it's actually anything that covers your eyes. I think it must be just voice-activated stuff, kind of like the Google Glasses, but without the visual thing. Oh, so it's... Okay. I'm having all I can imagine is just go-go gadget hair. That's all it's going to do. <laughs> Nothing I don't really else. know what it's going to do. I mean... Is it is it to get away from the fact that, you, you know, you have to wear some glasses, or is it some, is it actually a physical wig that you know i mean that's a fairly small market share yeah and yeah no, when i heard into? about it i was i can't even see how it would work i mean the google glasses yep you got your google maps it directs you where you're going what's a wig gonna do i don't know unless your hair's gonna stand up on one side to tell you to go left yeah <laughs> it just like pulls magnetic north or something to take you to the hairdressers yeah. apart from that it's, that is I have no idea what it, what it's going to do. So let, let's look at the business model. It's 100% male. It's um, it has to be you know people who are in the IT profession, which you know thinking about it is if you've got a lot of the uh, you know, 70s boffins that you know this is the just the breakthrough they've been looking for. You know just for men and uh, advanced hair has yet to come up with such a solution and now. And now Sony have come oh. to the party. That's brilliant. Well, apparently it's going to monitor health, give directions, and read facial expressions. It's going to... Oh, have what... they put a list out, have they? Yeah, a tactile feedback, feedback actuator that can that could deliver vibrations or small electric shocks. That's hilarious. Um, a GPS <laughs> sensor, ultrasound transducer for detecting objects, a camera... Um, <laughs> A sensor that detects wig position relative to head, and a laser pointer. This is a fucking joke. A laser okay. pointer. This is trolling. This is so trolling. <laughs> is it waterproof? Photo, Can we photo, put on sharks? The figure that it's got, the guy, it's like an afro. Like it's fucking ginormous. <laughs> oh, so it's like Homer's camera hat. <laughs> <laughs> He's not kidding. <laughs> Nobody got that joke. Yes, you have a bee in your yeah, no, I got it. Yeah. Cool. Jesus. Anyway, <laughs> so wait, stupid. show us the picture. Can you? Where, where did you get the picture from? Oh, I just googled it. <laughs> Sony wig. <laughs> the stupidest thing ever. Do you reckon Kristen mm. Wig will be the uh, spokesperson for it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zing. <laughs> buy anything she sells. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, in uh, you know, I know it's all been uh, a bit sort of Xbox heavy, but I've got one more uh, kind of reference which could be the death knell for what is the uh, the Twitch streaming capability on the PS4. Have you oh, seen I was going to talk about that one too. Yeah, is it the strip there? Are we talking about the the, the banning? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, we're on the same page. Yeah. What's this? It. Uh, I shall detail. Um, it's a Kotaku um, article. A week after the console's launch, some PlayStation 4 users appear to be using Playroom, an alternate reality game taking place in one's living room, to broadcast ridiculous live shows, including nudity, firearms, and God knows what else. Yeah. So that so if you're not familiar, that's the one where the camera is pointed at you, like in your living room, sort of thing, and that's when you can so interact with things on the screen. Version. Connect. Yeah, and then basically people were just making sex shows. Mm -hmm. So Twitch is banning everyone using Playroom, like even if you're doing it legitimately. 
So it's just like a blanket ban for everyone. That's hilarious. So, but they're not banning anyone who does it on the Xbox. Well, I mean, yeah, because they're Xbox biased. Yeah, probably. I don't know. <laughs> no, because Twitch uh, hasn't enabled streaming until the first patch uh, until next year. Oh, okay. oh, that's a bit of an oversight for them. Uh, yeah, yes and no. But I mean, they kind of dodged a bullet here. So I mean, hopefully in that mm. span of time, they'll be able to create safeguards to, I don't know, do nipple detecting software or something, penis detecting software. Oh, okay. So uh, <laughs> if we wanted to do quad feed, we'd lose it because of Ron. Yeah, <laughs> that's essentially what it is. Great. I haven't said anything in like five, like 10 minutes and I'm getting fucking ripped on. <laughs> You know, it is true. I will whip my dick out sooner or later. Game, later. Uh, the, the goes on to say, game revolu- uh, a cycle game revolution um, and discussed in other forums said that there was a couple that were sat on their overstuffed couch allegedly drinking to unconsciousness. One, lift, one lifted up his unconscious partner's shirt, exposing her breasts for about 15 minutes. <laughs> nice. After a brief blackout, the broadcast returned with the woman completely naked, presumably stripped by her companion. Instant ban. Yeah. <laughs> so that's... Uh... So, did they forget that the uh, camera was on, or was this an on-purpose thing? Well, the, the screenshot shows purpose. a guy standing in his lounge room wearing a horse head mask. Um, so, unless this is kind of like par for the course for you know, his average Friday night, I'm tempted to say that it actually was intentional. Yeah. Um, I thought it might be a uh, American Pie style situation. (laughs) Where he's accidentally left it on to email everybody. I mean, they were fairly quick to, um, you know, the the porn aficionados of, of the PS4 world were, quite happy to go you know what this is great this is the uh, this is the only console that openly endorses well I wouldn't say openly endorses but allows access to uh, to porn sites see if I knew that I would have bought the PS4 but I, we I mentioned it last week <laughs> yeah a person <laughs> I, it might have been me hint it probably was went to such a site today on the Xbox One I was able to get to it fine so I don't know yeah. what, I don't know what they're on about <laughs> Do not know. Good research. Good research. That's it. All in the name of research and being completely unbiased. You can still get your boobs on the Xbox One. <laughs> um, Ron, since you're back, yep. sans shit, um, what was your topic? You got a topic for us? No. Cool. I don't uh, have a shirt. Yeah. Oh, your topic was in your shirt, was it? Mm. Threw it out the window in a fit of passion. Good man. <laughs> Violently making love to myself. Violently. That's the best way. Um, who haven't I picked in a while? Ben, I just sort of took your topic off you, didn't I? Yeah, that's okay. In I have another one. <laughs> that's okay. I'm happy we are the same one. We're um, all about the sex shows. We did have a viewer question this week. Uh, oh. Oh. From our good friend Ijaz, she wanted to know how we all came to be and how we all met. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> uh, I, I'll I plead take... the fifth. <laughs> you plead the fifth. <laughs> right. Well, I, I, I'll. I'll... Take this. I don't know how Gav. I actually don't know how you got into it, but me, Ben, and Chris went to school together. Yep. There you go. I, I asked the Year same three. question of the what? Is that Year Ben? Three. That's when we met. In oh yeah. Three, which is just we were, insane. Yeah. We would have been puppies, and like we grew up together. We we're like best friends, and we like held hands and everything. <laughs> up to and including last week. Yeah. Yeah. It continues. Skipping through Broadway and Oxford Street, and, <laughs> and in uh, public toilets. Mm. Yeah, I've heard about those. But we're not holding each other's hands. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> <laughs> not me. <laughs> <laughs> not me. <laughs> Why is there a hole in this cubicle? What? 
<laughs> no, I, I asked Sophie over, after, over breakfast this morning. I'm like, how did we all co- kind of come to be? She mentioned that you know, she met Chris in a nightclub, which then in turn meant that she met uh, uh, Ben. Mm-hmm. And yes. then I guess I got brought into the fold when I started dating said lady. And we're like, who is this guy? And it was this suave cat <laughs> coming here with yeah, his blazer awesome. on and his elbow patches and his cufflinks <laughs> and his sweet swelling. And his 007 swagger. Yeah. <laughs> Delay nine and a half, man. What are you on about? Seven. Yeah. <laughs> Bollocks. Reference. Reference. Yeah. So that's the story. I mean, it's a very short one, but uh, mm. I mean, I'm sure we could all regale you with tales of various drunkenness and and stuff. We can say that for another show. But hey, it's mm. the anniversary show, so the the Christmas special. The Christmas special. That's it. We need to discuss that actually, because uh, I'm gone in three weeks. So uh, I will do a Wait, separate where are you going? video. What, the fuck? what is what is this? Where are you going? Oh God, really? I nobody's told me this. So Zoe's yeah, pretty much really. brought it up every single episode. Yeah. yeah, but am I listening? No. Yeah, that's <laughs> your trouble. I'm going I'm, to I'm the UK now. and I'm going to New York next month. Oh, cool. Have fun. Cheers. <laughs> So who's going to do the intros and the recordings for the next those next few weeks? Well, you don't want to do it from your hotel rooms. Yeah, oh, well, do, do the uh, the hangout yeah. thing on your phone. Just just join us like from over there. Have you not seen the uh, the Optus CEO's admission this week saying that he charged that they have been overcharging for phone calls and data usage probably for the last few years at least? <laughs> well, you can handle that, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm just swimming in this YouTube money. <laughs> just <laughs> make it do it from a, a Starbucks. They have free internet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine that though? It's like, yeah, I'm there for Christmas, and the family are just like, "Come on, Gav, let's go and do stuff." It's like, no, 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 no. I want to sit in this Starbucks <laughs> for two hours, talking about yeah. talking about Ron doing various things of varying degrees of morality to various women and various holes. I don't think that'd fly. Any holes a go. Any holes a go. So I'll so probably, we'll we, probably uh, put the uh, the show on hiatus for for those uh, few <coughs> weeks and then come back ready and raring to go in January. Yeah. If that yeah. tracks we'll, with you we'll guys. Mm. I mean, we can, we can do a triple feed while you're gone. I would shudder to just think have a the quality. Random selection of people <laughs> who just sign in. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get Beth on board. It could still be a quad feed. Get Beth to do the intro. Mm-hmm. Except if she, she's, she's not allowed to talk. If she talks, I'm out. <laughs> okay. That's <laughs> says the man not wearing a shirt again. Boom. Interesting. Um, no, I, I, it just spurred my memory, actually. Uh, Ijaz had another question, I think. I think it was her. But someone asked oh, how much we had all respectively spent on gaming in the last year. Monetarily, if you were to well, I steal, I steal all of my games, <laughs> so nothing. Cool. Um, that's my answer. Cool. So over just over the last year, just yeah, just I suppose in the last year. Uh, Roughly. and you can include your Xbox, obviously. So tack on seven hundred bucks. Well, that's about two grand right there. For your no, Xbox, man, you got ripped off. You got ripped off. No, mate. no, I met with the games and stuff. But, no, <laughs> that'd just be one, one thousand. Uh, what? Sorry, 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 I have to stop you there. You, you paid a grand yesterday. I don't know how much is the Xbox. I don't. Six hundred. Six hundred for the Xbox, and then look at so, this money bag just walking in saying one Xbox, please. I will only give you a thousand dollars. No more, no less. Give me Xbox. money bags. Here is a check. <laughs> Write a number on it and I will pay it. <laughs> and the accessories. Oh, there's, and there's some Feeny pajamas as well. <laughs> you got scratch protection on everything. Yeah. You got to pay for that stuff, man. Yeah, five bucks. It's like I don't wipe my ass with five dollar bills. <laughs> so how much did you pay? How many games did you get? 
uh, I got, um, well, I, I traded up to uh, the Cod Ghosts, but I got the hardened edition of that. So I got $22 trade in. I mean, don't even start me on the whole fast that is the trade in market. Because I had an agreement with the girl that was heading up the, the game section at, at Broadway. And I said, you know, what, what's the go with it? Like are the other retailers are saying you pay 10 bucks and you get it upgraded. But that wasn't the scenario for me because I bought the 360, but also the pre-ordered the hardened version on the, on the one. So I said, well, why don't I just pay the difference? So I only had to pay it once. She goes, yeah, that's fine. The way it worked out, it couldn't have been further from what that scenario was posed to. Uh, posed to me, so I end up getting twenty-two dollars, I think, trade-in value for a game that I had essentially paid eighty dollars for a few weeks back, wow. and um, bought NBA Two K Fourteen and Forza, and they've got FIFA included. So I thought all up, I think it was about eight hundred and thirty. But the worst part about it, the crowning turd in this whole situation was I was able to price match uh, Ghosts from Big W not three weeks ago and yet I went, walked in there and go, so I imagine the price match still applies because Forza I think was, uh, there was one game that was 68 instead of 88. And he goes, oh sorry we don't price match that. I go, why is that? Because uh, it's not within a 2k radius. Yeah, it's the biggest bullshit. Once they've got you, they've got you. See, in Ireland, people that pre-ordered the PlayStation 4, when they went to go pick it up, they were then told, we're not going to give you your PlayStation because basically in our terms and conditions, it was that you also had to buy this game extra on top. I can't remember what game it was. Um, Probably FIFA or some shit like that. I don't know. Mm. And so people pre-ordered their Xboxes and then they weren't given it until they had to buy another game on top which was just so they were extorting money, like another 80 bucks out of everyone mm. just wow. so they could get their um, pre-order. So I got stiffed just... on the upgrade. I got stiffed on the price match, which I suppose if you were to add it up over the course of two games, I mean, 20 bucks savings per game plus the trade-in value, I probably had enough to buy another game if I wanted to, but I held back. And knowing because I've got to spread myself so thinly you know, playing one game after another. Like, even if I dedicate half an hour to each game that I've got here, that's two hours, so... Um, and I had lots of stuff to do on the weekend. And Need for Speed, Need for Speed Rivals comes in next month, uh, next week, sorry. So I want to get uh, wrapped around that. And then Maybe I, read a review on that one first. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, got, it's got eight, man. It's got eights. It's really yeah. good. Yeah. I don't know. That most wanted, that was supposed to be pretty good, I've but... S- I think it's yeah the reviews I've seen anyway. Which ones have you seen? Anything. A couple of them, and apparently the game is shocking. Uh... Yeah, I'm definitely going to be playing it in a store before I buy it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's one thing to to believe the reviewers, and I completely hear you on that. Um, but then a few of the other sort of bigger commentators on YouTube have got their hands on it as well, and they. Well, I suppose you could kind of make a case for, you know, if they've been given it for free, then obviously they're a bit more inclined to go, it's awesome. But mm. um, I don't know, all the, other, all the other reviews have given it uh, sevens and eights. Which considering like they gave the console on the whole uh, in their reviews an eight, for the Xbox One and seven and a half for the PlayStation 4... Just saying. Um, <laughs> then, <laughs> then uh, I mean that's that's a that's a fair score. Yeah. You know, it's no call it. It's no uh, Grand Theft Auto Five, but uh, yeah, it's all right. Mm. I'm just trying to figure out whether or not I'll be forced out in a week's time to the point where I go, I need another driving game, and I need further ammunition to to get Ron to go to sleep on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need it for a topic. I'm willing to spend eighty bucks on a topic for next week, just to see Ron fire up and just go to absolute town on me. Going, you bought another driving game. God, four wheels weren't enough for you. You had to have eight. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll buy a copy too, even though I won't be able to play. But I'll buy a copy as well. Boy. I think it's on PC. I don't know. I, I'm, I don't Ron's know. secret Santa gift. Are we talking about rivals? Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, Wait, yeah, rifle, rifles. Rifles. Sorry, what? If we're talking about guns, that's cool. Wake up. Are we, are we talking um, about guns? No, we're talking about how much... Everyone's already forgot the initial question. How much we've how spent much over spent. the past year. Yeah. Um, oh, and it's still me, is it? Well, we already know you got ripped off, so... <laughs> yeah. Well, I got grand. <laughs> four games, the play and play and charge kit, uh, the 12-month subscription... So all up, it was I don't know, close to a thousand dollars. How much was the twelve month subscription? <coughs> um, I think it was like seventy dollars or something. Oh, okay. That's pretty standard, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Everything was it's... like at least sixty dollars. Mm. Um, mm. It's good to see some so of the it was uh, a thousand or under. Some of the uh, the larger chains, you know, I was completely uh, not expecting to see any of these. Game slip under the seventy dollar seventy dollar mark. I mean that was incredible. That's really mm. good. Yeah, sixty eight bucks, big W. I mean, laughing. Yeah. Mm. Um, but they don't price. Well, much. um, yeah. Uh, apparently, Amazon all the launch titles of PlayStation Four and Xbox One are fifty dollars, and at the moment, a year subscription for PlayStation Plus is thirty dollars. Right. Uh, they've got like some special on. And Not Amazon that I'm affiliated with Amazon or anything like that, but that's just popping up <laughs> lately. And which I think is pretty damn you good. Launched in the week as well. Which launched, but there's only books. I want products other than books. Oh really? There's oh okay. Store. I didn't delve that yeah, far. That's what I saw because I checked it out because the US store has some like PC components or whatever, just general items where it's like really well priced. Mm. Um, but then just on certain random things, they just will not post to Australia. So then you've got to do like a mail redirecting company and it just costs even more money and it's a massive headache. Mm. So when I heard that they'd launched in Australia or an Australian store, I sussed it out, but all they had was just books for Kindle at the moment. Mm. So I'm hoping that does change because that'll take off if it does. Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't shop around for prices on games. I think all of them cost $89 for me. Yeah. So that's where that money went. <laughs> Well, they've got the infrastructure to expand fairly rapidly anyway, so Amazon will... I mean, that won't take much time at all to to uh, to bring that to uh, all the other aspects of what we enjoy to of the dot-com site through to Australia. That'll be fine. Um, I'm trying to figure out how much I've spent. Three and a half, plus the Xbox, plus probably, what, ten games over the course of the year. An average of eighty, let's say eighty bucks a game. It's eight hundred. Computer with my monitors. Uh, oh jeez, I'm gonna say five grand. Wow, fuck. <laughs> three. And that's half, including a whole PC. Three and a half of that's computer. And... Yeah, eight hundred. Yeah, uh, eight hundred for. Well, hang on, that's pretty really closer to five and a half. <laughs> I think. Right? That's probably five and a half. Yeah. Well, Five and a half Australian dollars. Five and a half Australian mm. dollars. <laughs> screens, a laptop, and a keyboard. I've spent three and a half this year. Mm. And well worth it. We are gamers. <laughs> For gamers. <laughs> With gamers, jerking off gamers. Did somebody say jerking off? Yeah, I knew you'd resonate with that. Yeah, yeah. surprise faggots. Surprise um, <laughs> For me... As well, probably yeah, I'm actually pretty lucky because I bought my PC last year, which you know that cost a fair bit. Um, but games-wise, probably only a couple of hundred bucks, sort of thing. I, at the moment, really, I've just this year I've been, I haven't had much time with uni, but just been playing a lot of. Oh no, sorry, I bought the, I bought the new PlayStation, the Super Slim Grand Theft Auto Five. So that cost, I don't know, I think that was like 250 bucks, something like that, with the game. Um, but I've been playing a lot of DayZ, so yeah. Stuff like that. I'd really be buying that much this this year. FTP. FTW. Yeah. What does FTP stand for? Free to play. Oh. Or file transfer protocol. <laughs> oh. <laughs> or failure to pay if you run away from a service station without paying for your petrol. Oh. Or fuck the police. <clears throat> no, I don't know. It's up to you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all I have. Mm. That was good. You're here all week. You're here all week. I was scouring the uh, the internet for some more top tens. 
Oh, yeah. And Those fucking horribly voted uh, badly. <laughs> yeah, but that in itself <laughs> is like... the attraction, though. <laughs> it's it's, uh, it's mind-blowing. Well, I'll try and keep it as broad as possible because uh, one of them was the best Xbox 360 games of all time. But then Halo I realized that's probably one. a bit too narrow for this audience. Can I, can I please ask, though, just really quickly, with the best Xbox games of all time, uh -huh. were there any driving games in there? <laughs> uh, yes, there were. Oh, shit. In the actual top ten, or is this above the top ten? Number three. Huh. Grand Theft Auto 4. <laughs> Wait, did... That, that doesn't count. That's, that's not, not a really a driving game. game. Yeah, it's like not strictly driving. That's that's good. That's a good game. But like, uh, strictly driving games. Uh, strictly driving games. Let's have a look. I'll come to the first one that I can find. And it is... Need for Speed Most Wanted at 26. Good. See? Some of them do know what they're doing. Yeah, but you, you just, you just <laughs> fucked your own argument because your own argument was that these the voting on this is so abstract and so yeah. off base that Daniel Day Lewis was number eight on ex top Xbox <laughs> 360 games. games. <laughs> 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 That's true. Great right? game. When it comes Great to game. games, they know what they're talking about. But the other one was obviously the best video games of 2013. So I figured that was nice and broad and, and nice and recent, and you don't have to. Give yourself an aneurysm to think of uh, the games that have happened in the last 12 months. Chances are we've played most of them. There's, yeah, there's probably going to be a piss load of, um, uh, like a bunch of websites are probably going to put out like their top five games of the year or game of the year kind of thing, like articles out soon, I reckon. Mm -hmm. uh, but I reckon uh, Last of Us is definitely up there. For a, Number two. Yes, for a, play, for a PlayStation game, I actually played it and I loved it. Mm. Yes, I, I think it's fucking brilliant. It's definitely up there. Uh, GTA Five, obviously, but number one. Yep. Bioshock's got to be there. Number Infinite. Number four. Um, I thought that would have been slightly higher. I mean, there's not too much higher that can go with GTA Five, obviously, and Last of Us. Mm. It was always going to be a bit. What about Call of Duty? Call, yeah, I mean, there's the typical Call of Duty. I mean, at number seven, it was Ghosts, which is just oh my God. unmistakable bollocks. But again, that's why we love this site. <laughs> <laughs> because it's obviously uh, so true to life. <laughs> um, ironically, number five was Watch Dogs. Not even out yet. How is that even possible? <laughs> there you go. There you go. Daniel yeah. Day-Lewis. <laughs> It's like number 41 of our and the best actors and Watch Dogs, a game that's not even out, is on the on the best list. Mm. That is ridiculous. As long as it's getting a laugh out of you, I will continue. It's great. <laughs> um, that's a, anything else on there that's not out? Like, uh, let me guess, Half-Life 3 is there somewhere, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Half-Life 4 is. <laughs> Saints Row 1, I don't know. <laughs> Sing. <laughs> Um, the ones that we forgot about, I mean, <clears throat> Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, I mean, I think that's a little early to, to kind of call the number three best game of the year, considering it's literally just come out. Yeah. I've never actually played Assassin's Creed, but after hearing Ron's review, I was thinking about getting it, <laughs> but, um... Well, apparently this is the one to get, but I just can't, you know, bring myself to buy another Assassin's Creed game. You know, if I want open world, I'll just I'll play GTA. Cool. Sorry about that. That was a few technical issues. Um, what were you talking about? Oh, we were actually, uh, Chris asked me what games am I uh, looking forward to getting on uh, Xbox One mm. because and uh, said that I already I got Ghosts, but um, the ones that I'm looking forward to, yeah, uh, Dead Rising Three. Assassin's Creed Black Flag, um, Watch Dogs when it comes out, and Metal Gear Solid 5. So uh, that's mm. those are the ones that I'm really, really looking forward to, uh, even though they're not out yet. But So Chris, well, take, me, take me through Dead Rising 3, because I mean, it, it does look like, like a bit of a slash em up kind of thing, kind of game that I probably would get bored with relatively quickly. 
Um, well, I've only played about uh, half an hour of it, or maybe an hour, but it is kind of one of those slash em up games. I'm not sure. Did you ever play Resident Evil? I played a version of one from like, it's many moons ago. Similar to that, but it more it relies more on the melee style of fighting. Yep. Um, so you were correct when you said that the Gladiator game and Dead Rising Three are pretty similar. <laughs> Gav, have you uh, played? But... Gav, have you played uh, Dead Rising one or two? Never played any of the Dead Risings at all. But it was kind of reminiscent finally... of uh, that de of Dead Island in that it was like a Far Cry three kind of setting, but with zombies. Yeah, uh, it's like it's basically an open world. Like it's kind of like sandboxy, where uh, the first one was in a shopping center. And it's a huge shopping center, and you you can't escape it. But there are just zombies everywhere, and the idea is just that like you can kill all the zombies in heaps of different ways. You can go into like a uh, a C like a music store, and you pick up CDs and start chucking them at them like ninja stars <laughs> kind of thing. Like it it's just, it was just ridiculous with what you could do and all the weapons. And then on two, you were stuck in like a a Las Vegas type casino area, and um, same thing there, and it's just like then you could like put um, uh, weapons together, like you could build uh, weird weapons, like uh, you'd sticky tape um, knives to boxing gloves, and you'd wear them. So then it got even stupider. And uh, now in Dead Rising 3, it's basically it's an even bigger map, and uh, instead of like you can build heaps of more crazy weapons, like you you do shit like you you duct tape like axes and um, sledgehammers together. It's just like a really over-the-top, stupid zombie kind of game. And the thing is, like, your bosses are normal people who've gone insane. And they're, they're all, all the bosses are all, like, over-the-top and overly sexualized and uh, really, they're, they're all just nutcases and it's really stupid. But, like, it's just, it's just like a fun open-world zombie killing game. Hmm. And, uh... Yeah, with like a story where you, every single game there's like a, a timer, and the timer counts down until you have to do the next objective, and you can and you save oh, people. Okay, it's cool. No, I like uh, it. I didn't realize there was a timer. Oh, I have right. heard people screaming uh, for help. <laughs> and I just kept on yeah, walking. I haven't rescued anyone yet. <laughs> <laughs> just like in real life. Somebody's yeah. screaming, fuck them. Okay. Look up number one, man. Top dog. I'm out of here. Jeez. But yeah, I, I find it completely different to Resident Evil. It's just because the shooting is a lot different. The control, the controls are like way different. Uh, yeah. It is made by the same it's... company, though, Capcom, right? Um, I think it was made by Crytek, wasn't it? Oh, fuck. No. They Which means up. the forestry and the trees are going to look awesome. <laughs> I, I did other... enjoy some of the, the combat thing like you said um, when I was playing it um, it started off on a highway and I climbed up on top of a uh, truck that happened to have a cinder block there and I was able to drop it <laughs> onto a zombie's head <laughs> yeah. which was that was quite enjoyable actually doing those, those kind of uh, moves want to try to find and mix and match and like with all the different random shit you can pick up basically everything and use as a weapon and yeah in Dead yeah, it's got like the gas cans you can throw in yeah um. <coughs> and like even when you find a gun you don't really want to use it like I yeah. well, I found that when I played it like anytime I'd pick up a pistol or a machine gun I I'd use it for a little bit and I'd be like this is kind of dull and then you'd get back to grabbing a guitar and like just swinging it around and you know it was always fucking fun so it's like it's just a really fun kind of you know zombie killing with absolutely anything game so much yeah. replay but value I, I, to it fuck yeah uh well, i think like the, i like the story but when if you do if you think you're gonna get sick of killing zombies over and over again like a million fucking zombies you like you will get sick of it um, but the thing is like with the story it, the zombies end up just being obstacles they're just in the way you can just yeah. run around them then you you basically just start ignoring them after a while because you're more like concentrating more on your next objective or whatever 
So, uh, yeah, uh, it, it, yes and no. You could, if you like killing zombies. Yeah, there's plenty of replay value, and there's so plenty I, more. Combos. I like an, an entire game of Dead Rising Three. I mean, if it's anything like, you know, the zombies add-ons to to Black Ops Two, then mm. chances are I won't enjoy it. Similar, similar, but it's got a better story than the Black Ops Two one. Mm. Yeah. That was just a random thing, isn't it? Yeah. It's a game built was, around yeah. the zombies rather than yeah. an FPS with a zombie add-on kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, like Ron was saying, you can run away from the zombies. Like, you could run on top of the buses and trucks to get away from them if you want to. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, like, for what it was, the little bit that I played, I did enjoy it. I think it'll be a game that I'll plug in when i got some time and just lay waste to a few zombies and just as a time filler. It's your stress um, reliever for a Monday afternoon. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Especially if you can make these outrageous weapons. That's right. That, yeah. uh, Ron was talking about. That's that's going to be something good. Then they've really stepped it up as well. Like before in Dead Rising 2 you had to go to a certain bench like that were not hard to find. They just weren't everywhere. And that's the only place where you could modify... A crafting table. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It was literally that you had to go there with the right ingredients. Uh, oh. And now in Dead Rising 3, you can just build it anywhere. The guy actually is like MacGyver. He has duct tape with duct tape with him all the time. And you <laughs> get a sledgehammer and uh, what's it? And a, a saw. And yeah. Uh, and yeah, circular saw and boom. Like he, you make it right there. It takes a couple seconds and then boom, you sticky tape them oh. together and you start killing zombies with it. I've it's been awesome. playing the game wrong this whole time. <laughs> Chris has just I've been, been using a right language shield and a baton. <laughs> walking up to them with feather dusters and like going through the haberdashery <laughs> section of the supermarket or something and just going, this isn't working. You know, this toilet cleaner slash loofer slash shower puff just well, isn't there was doing any thing. damage at all. <laughs> I did bash one over the head with a um, serving tray. <laughs> yeah, you're there you definitely go. playing that wrong. <laughs> A serving tray, yeah. which means which means you're in the sort of cookery section with knives and like corkscrews. Oh, I think it was like one of the, like it looked like a serving tray, but I think it was for a, a medical tray or something. Right. But it was a silver tray, a silver dish. Well, this is, the, the professionalism continues, ladies and gentlemen. With uh, Ron he taking... muted it. That's that's pretty pro. Well, that's semi pro. Um... Semi pro. Probably the Samsung Speaking warehouse wanting to know where all these all the tablets are. <laughs> the tablets are. That should be the next question, actually. See how far he got through the tablet inventory. <laughs> how many he shifted. How many are now down at Chinatown? With Forza Gava, I'm not sure if you've played it enough, mm-hmm. but um, do you enjoy the little pop-ups when you're racing, saying? Um, you're competing against another person on a list. It ranks every player. I haven't and, had that so far, which made oh, me, okay. which uh, actually reminds me of a question I meant to ask you, and and me apologising for beating you at uh, Bathurst. I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, no, your uh, your BMW M1 out outran my S2000 down the straight. That's it, and, man. Uh, German excellence will always beat Japanese power. <laughs> you fucking Honda German people. Efficiency. But now every time I um, go to Bathurst, it says um, you're competing against your rival skills as shooter for a lap time. Uh-huh. Huh? So because you beat me that once, I think it'll, like every time um, people beat you, it, it has it as like an extra incentive when you're racing to get that better time. Oh, totally! As soon as I'm done with this, I'm going. I'm going to get my lap time back, <laughs> which you didn't beat anyway. So I'm just going to further improve on it so that you don't beat it. Well, that was one of those things I completely forgot then that there was the voice, because um, it, it can record now, can't it? I should have said it. Is, is there uh, a record. sound file waiting for me in the game saying "fuck you, Gav"? Is that, <laughs> is that what you're telling me I'm waiting for? No, it was just one of those things where I w- I w- if I recorded, I would have sent it to you and you could have seen the two cars coming down the straight side by side and then just in the last couple of metres, the BMW edges out. 
Um, um, got that top end power, mate. None, none of that VTEC. Swearing at the TV. <laughs> that VTEC <laughs> left you in the lurch there. It did. It didn't kick in. You were coming around that last <laughs> that last corner, that last left hander, and you didn't have the red. Yeah, I lost too much traction. VTEC owns you. <laughs> <laughs> That was one of the other things I find weird in the game. It gives you um, a car maker bonus if you race with a certain um, yeah, it's the brand. affinity bonus. Yeah, except that I bought an Integra, which I thought was a Honda, but it's actually an Acura. Acura, yeah. Acura. And it uh, reset my affinity bonus. Damn. Oh, well. Even though it's clearly a Honda. <laughs> yeah. Well, nice know, one, Xbox. <laughs> don't make that mistake when you buy like a Datsun Sunny and expect it to be a Nissan or something. A Nissan, yeah. No, I thought or, they would have kept it the same. Or a Toyota Lexus kind of version. <laughs> yeah. Um, who else got a topic? I well, think it's I cool was... that um the uh, the guys who made the Telltale uh, Telltale games, I think it is, uh, they. Uh, made the Walking Dead um, uh, game. Yeah, the game, but like <laughs> not the one, because there was two of them. Yes. And one of them, one of them wasn't by them. Yeah. So uh, not the one that had that was based off the TV series, uh, which was fucking horrendous. It was, it was just a graphic novel fucking... inspired one, wasn't it? That's right. Yeah. Um, they are apparently making a Game of Thrones game. I read just that. like that, which. I think is fucking amazing, and I cannot wait for that. I I, I don't know what they're going to do. Like, is it going to be, oh, hey, uh, this is what's happened? Like, I'm sure, that, like, because they can't really branch out. You know what I mean? Um, well, they, you kind of got to follow the story, don't you? Yeah, yeah. And there's not enough there's... terabytes in the world to make enough, you know, enough storage capacity to fit all the characters and storylines that apparently happen in, in the Game of Thrones. I mean, I've got, I've got the iPad version, right, of, of The Walking Dead. I'm thinking if they came out with a Game of Thrones version, I'd probably go through a full charge of an iPad battery just before I get to the end of the first season or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I, I wonder what they're going to do with it as well. So, Winter is coming. Game of Thrones battery. <laughs> As well as the need to charge my iPad. <laughs> That'd be a good Xbox One feature. You have to keep repeating winter is coming while you play. <laughs> yeah. Batten down the hatches. Winter is coming. One does not simply. One does not simply prepare <laughs> oh, he's for gone winter. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, I read that as well. Um, yeah, a lot of people were jumping on board and going, yeah, that's really cool, really cool. But yeah, I mean, like you said, if it turns out to be uh, as mammoth as a, a game as what the uh, what the series is, then mm. it'll be how they can condense that down to something that still keeps you absorbed and doesn't have you going, oh, God, there's another seven hours of this campaign to go. <laughs> I wouldn't complain. I would, I'd probably, I'm pretty sure I'd enjoy that. Mm. It's going to be one of those games where three hours of it is walking from one town to the other. <laughs> I mean, the, the other Game of Thrones game that came out that used all the original actors and that kind of stuff as their voices as well, that wasn't, wasn't that, like, really bad? I never played it. I didn't it. even know they had a game. No, no Yeah, no. it was ages ago. It was like... Uh, yeah, like... it's really bad. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, like, did you, did you play it? No. Because <laughs> it was, I like, I just broken. Yeah. And, uh, it just, you... as in, shockingly bad. <laughs> like the false, Sounds like the, the first Hulk movie bad kind of thing. Is that a, like a loose hey, one? Eric Banner was in that. He was good. He was. Yeah. But that wasn't the first one, right? That was like uh, was the Hulk oh, movie one with Lou Ferrigno. Yeah, in the 1980s. That was the series, wasn't it? Did they make a, yeah, tele right. a just... telly movie about it or not? I'm not sure. I know that they actually did a uh, Avengers movie. Like an old school one. Oh, it had Sean Connery in it, I think, didn't it? Oh, really? Who was he? He was. Uh, I might. Ben's looking it up. Off. Ben's on the case. Ben's oh no, I was, I was doing something else. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so completely. My lost apologies. <laughs> no, it's just. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I was on something else. Anyway. 
Um, you were just looking up photos of Misa Camper, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> and just quietly masturbating underneath the table, just like. Hey, why be quiet? <laughs> yeah. Um. I'll be yeah, back in a I, sec. I, I might be getting my references mixed up, but there was like a. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was an Avengers movie, but it yeah, the. the uh, are you sure it wasn't people. that League of Extraordinary Gentlemen movie? That no. one that basically made Sean Connery retire from acting. I actually own that. It's Is that what happened? As a DVD. Yeah. You, what, you, what happened was uh, Sean Connery was offered the role of Gandalf for Lord of the Rings, right? Yeah. Uh, and he yeah. turned it down because he said, I don't understand the script. I don't understand what the fuck is going on in this movie. So, no thank you. So, um, so he's obviously McCallum, never read the book. Yeah. And he said, like, I'm not interested in this. And then Ian McKellen gets it, and fucking thing Kills goes... It. Yeah, goes gangbusters. Fucking goes absolutely insane. He's like, fuck, I'm never turning down a ridiculous script that I don't fucking understand ever again. The fucking script of League of Extraordinary Gentlemen lands in his lap. He's like, I don't understand this. I'm going to do it. And it bombs the fuck out. Mm. And... He, Literally just went like, fuck that, I, I quit acting, that's it, I'm done, I'm done. I'm done. Come on, man, he should, he, that shouldn't have kept him down, but, ah. It, it's horrible, when you hear it like that. It's not oh, a bad man, movie, I mean, it didn't, it didn't perform it's... well at the, at the box office, and obviously, mm. you know, DVDs or, uh, and DVD releases after that, but, I mean, I parted with twenty nine ninety five. Yeah, it did bad did. enough to throw him out of acting. Yeah. Has he, done, has, he, has he done anything? Have you taken it out of its plastic wrap? The no. previous Avengers movie Not that, that I, I know of, I referenced before, was from 1998, called The Avengers. But oh, yeah, I didn't think it had anything to do with that. Oh wait, the one with Uma Thurman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not not the comic book characters. No. Yeah. I'll see that movie on cable, and I'll just be like, Nah, it's not the right Avengers. Yeah. <laughs> just fucking change the channel. <laughs> <laughs> Those Avengers suck. Yeah. I don't even know what that fucking movie's about. I don't think the people in the movie know what that movie was about. Well, like you said, didn't stop Sean Connery. Yeah, I'll sign on for it. Just pay me the full yeah. quote. I'm yours. That's right. He got paid, and now he's fucking... I don't know. I don't know what he's doing now. He's probably chilling out somewhere. I am going... outside for a bit. Really? <sighs> I'm done. He's laughing. Um. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, okay. I don't suppose any of you guys got any other topics? Just one quick one. Um, gaming related. If you're a fan of Space Sims, uh -huh. um, I am. Star Citizen is one to definitely keep an eye out for. They're, um, I think it was their Kickstarter, um, basically <clears throat> um, generated $30 million, Damn. which is insane. Um, basically, the guy that's developing it is like, this is going to be the sickest game ever, basically. <laughs> it's just, if you like, you know, um, sandbox sort of space sims where it's got everything. Um, the guy, the creator, has created a lot of um, other sort of space sims, which have always been really good. Mm. So, yeah, um, it sh I, th I think it's coming out next year. I'm not one hundred percent sure, um, but it will be ridiculous. I just don't. Have is it enough. Star, did you say Star Citizen? Is it? Yeah. Right. Two point one, so, one three four million. I'm just looking. I'm on the Kickstarter. Was there another one? Um, basically, on the Star Citizen website, it's oh, reached thirty million dollars. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm looking at the um, the October eighteenth to November nineteenth, so in a month mm. um, of last year, thirty two days, they pulled in two point one million of, of the five hundred mm. uh, of the five hundred grand goal that they were going for. Mm. That's insane. So, what's what's the pedigree? What's uh, is this a previous game that is being reimagined, or is it just purely based on how this guy has sold it and going, prepare yourself for the best game ever? Because 
It's yeah, it's kind of he's he's made other space sims which right. were really good, uh, but I don't think he's done anything for a while. Uh, where he kind of left the industry and now he's he's come back and he's making this and basically just based on his history uh, what he's done before and mm. from what the details he's already released it should be an amazing game and I just effing closed the article so I don't have anything more uh, but my brother's been harping on about it massively uh, I've heard of the name all that sort of stuff too um, I've wanted to check it out but kind of haven't had the time but mm. yeah I'm definitely not yeah. So um, what game is it's it? It's quite well known. Like if you, yeah, mm. uh, close to. I'm guessing what games are close to. Um, if you played the old, oh, what was it called? Freelancer. Pretty sure that's like old school PC space sim. Uh, Eve Online. If anyone's familiar with that, which oh, is just okay. ginormous. <laughs> um, but just all the features you can do is just like ridiculous. Just yeah, the detail. Yeah. Mm, just like all the details, just like your play style, you know, you can be like a bounty hunter, like smuggler, pirate, you know, just, yeah, just one huge sandbox jumping all around in space. Hmm. So it should be really good. It's, it's going to be huge. I shall keep it. I wish on. I had more information on it. Yeah, I, that, I stuffed that up really bad because this game's going to be huge and I know jack shit about it because uh, I checked it out really early on. And then kind of lost touch with it. Now it's starting to. Um, everyone's talking about it again, but um, I haven't checked up on all the details. In terms of, um, so did you say it had been planned as a release or not? Yes, I believe it's coming out next year. Cool. Mm. But it won't be. Uh, I suppose with that amount of funding, it's hardly an indie game, is it? <laughs> Well, it is in a sense, but te yeah, technically it is, but it that's a that's a huge a huge budget, so yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, I mean, I'm just looking at some screenshots. I mean, it's hard to hard to get uh, get a gauge of what um, what it's mm. going to be like. But I mean, I, I in the same way that I never really had played uh, many GTA games prior to five. Um. This could be a game that uh, you know gets me into that genre. We shall see. Mm. Mm. It's just it's just good. To, I'm, yeah, I'm not that. an MMO guy. It has to be said, but uh, yeah. No, yeah, so some I'm, some parts yeah. of the MMO just the repetitive stuff that you got to do to level up. It just mm. slow grind. Mm. Yes, definitely, definitely. Mm. But, uh, I shall keep an eye for that. Mm, and Got if you it. like that sort of stuff, and if you already haven't heard of it, um, definitely check out KSP, which is a Kerbal Space Program, which my brother, again, has been playing for a very long time. Um, and that's a lot of fun too, where basically you just design little spaceships uh, and send it to space and try and land on the moon and other planets. And it's actually, I'm, again, I'm doing it no justice by explaining it, but definitely check it out if you haven't already because it's fantastic. Cool. I'm tempted to say I've actually heard of that one. KSP, or, yeah. Uh, I think it was. It, I might be wrong, but um, there was another game where you. you know, it was largely microtransaction based, where um, you know, you're building a a spaceship to to spec. I don't know whether or not it had all the components that this game did, but I'd have to read into this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. More games to check out. God, why our time is going to be mm. literally spread so thinly. It'll be all these games you get to spend half an hour on before you have to go to the next game that you just plonk down money for. Mm. Are we uh, are we up for a uh, a Steam sale anytime soon? Like a summer sale? Uh, should, uh, should be in the Christmas break, I'd say. Yeah, but it'll be a winter sale because it's in America. Yeah, they have winter sale. Mm. Winter sale, yeah. Mm. Anything and then that's coming up that sale. potentially could be in there? Do they do they usually give us a bit of a heads up as to what's potentially coming, really. or is it just a massive surprise? Not really, it's a bit massive of a surprise. surprise. But a good thing there's all the stuff to do prepare hand, uh, to prepare beforehand, such as putting in uh, money into your Steam wallet, because trying to do it at the time or when there's a really good game to get. The servers get overloaded, so it's really hard to put um, money in the account and put the games that you want on your wish list. So when they do 
become available, uh, you'll get an email straight away. So you can buy oh, it straight okay. away, so you don't have to like search for it. And only buy a game if it's 75% off as well, because generally they'll put it for like 25 or 50% off, and then later on then they'll do it for 75%. Um, so really only buy a game if it's at 75% off. Because it'll eventually it'll go for seventy five percent. People, yeah. listen to that advice, folks. That is brilliant. Hey, we'll I'll take a discount at twenty five, but knowing can get to seventy five, I'll hold off. Yeah, generally they do. As you can see, I'm kind of well stacked for stuff to play at the moment, and I still haven't sunk <laughs> any more time into Battlefield Four, which I feel supremely mm. guilty for. Well, in all honesty. You haven't really missed. Oh well, the game is great, like I said before, but just the stability. I mean, they fix stuff like the rubber banding, the sounds issues, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But then you'll just be playing it, and then it'll just cut out halfway through, and it's just there's nothing more frustrating. The single player is pretty fun at the moment. I mean, I haven't yeah. decided to play the multiplayer just because I'm getting used to the Xbox controls. So the mm -hmm. campaign is pretty good for that, but it's not too bad. I mean, they've got voice actors and people who look like the voice actors in the game, so it's pretty, hmm. pretty cool. The story's interesting. Um, I mean, I look I'm at sure you've all seen the, the opening movie of uh, where you're on a building and it starts collapsing and you're sliding and everything. Yeah, that was part of the E3, yeah, events. E3 stuff. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. I just... The thing that frustrates me, and I know that it's relative to the teams of people working on the game, but it comes back to you know, how you can put so much quality into a game like Battlefield 4 and yet let something like NBA Live 14, something that's been in the works for probably two or three years, you know, and needs to come back with a bang, and then <laughs> it just gets absolutely panned. It just doesn't make sense to me. I'll just... As an investor, and I suppose as a, as a company that has a reputation um, that couldn't be more poles apart in terms of quality, like FIFA obviously is the gold standard, and then you've got the NBA arm of the of the business, and it just couldn't be any worse. Battlefield comes on, kicks it, kicks a goal for the most part. NBA in the can. <laughs> No, they seem to be doing a lot of hit and miss. Yeah. Um, more miss than hit, unfortunately. Mm. Well, we've been going for two hours now, so I think in the interest of getting out of these clothes, because I am freaking roasting, the sacrifices that we make on this I know. podcast to make sure you've got something dapper and wonderful to look at. It's quite hot. It's like 26 degrees. It's probably got 30 degrees in this room. And I'm quite hot. Chris only has to take off a tie. It's okay. Ron, as you clearly saw, just has to put pants on, in actual fact. And uh, and I used to get out of my elbow-patched wonderfulness. I'm a designer. Oh, it actually right? has elbow patches. Has elbow pa of course, man. Uh, yeah, not leather patches on a suede jacket. I haven't ruined two perfectly good jackets. <laughs> two jackets. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I think we'll wrap it up there just to piss Ron off as well so he didn't get to yep. say goodbye. So uh, thanks for watching. Give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching Show 10. This is the Double Digit Show. And we'll see you next week. Thanks very much. Bye. 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 Bye.